Welcome to the fall edition of Crusader News. I'm Anne Marie Leal. And I'm Michael Spears. And let's start off the month with some updates. The high school hosted its fall pep rally for the new school year. Athletes showcased their participation in cheerleading, girls soccer, boys soccer, football, and girls volleyball. The gym was filled with students from all grades eager to display their school spirit. Let's look at the footage. Alright, so I got Abe here. Say hi. Hey, what's up? So, you were just in the pizza eating contest. How'd you like it? How'd it go? I mean, it was alright. It was pretty fun. My stomach kind of hurts now, but it's all good. Were you about to throw up? At one point, I thought I was going to, but I didn't. Good, good. How'd the pizza taste? It was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Good, good. Alright, so that's been Crusader News. Thank you all so much. Parents were, re were able to relive high school life during back-to-school night. Teachers and administrators welcomed parents to walk the hallways and visit their children's classrooms. The purpose was for the parents to understand their child's daily school life. Our reporters interviewed several people at the event, and let's watch. Welcome to Crusader News. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Teach Pistacio, Ms. Hebner. Awesome English teacher, Ms. Manso. Ms. Fafaletto. How do you feel tonight, sir? I feel awesome. Um, this is my first back to school night. Um, I think I have an advantage because I was a teacher for the majority of last year and I made a lot of good relationships with a lot of my students who are returning. And I'm very excited to uh, meet with their parents and, and kind of get a feel for what their families are like and, and get a better understanding of, of my students. Is there anything you wish would change this year? Or? stay the same? Or? Parents have to get involved to see what's going on with the child's education, so do the teachers. I think it's the parents that should initiate that, but um, other than that, no. I think uh, pretty smooth. How do you feel about this year's back to school night? I think uh, we had uh, great attendance this year. Um, parents are coming every period, which is great. Uh, they seem interested, and they are interested, which is, uh, which is a good thing. Um, we always like to communicate with the parents because I think it's very important to communicate with the parents because we all want the best for the children. We all want them to graduate in due time. And um, I also always stress the importance that we're here for the kids, not just, you know, I'm not just here for English, but if there are any problems, I would, you know, if they want to come and talk to me. So um, I can help them. Uh, I know that you worked in the middle school for a while. Uh, is that kind of back to school night slightly different in any way? Well, I feel like it's definitely more heavily attended than juniors and seniors. Um, there are a lot more questions because this is, it was a high school with seventh graders in it. So new building, new teachers, new rules. So, you know, the parents wanted to be sure that they could be um, as informed as possible to help their kids to be successful. Is it any kind of uh, headache than the uh, the usual? No, 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 not at all. It's, it's like the first day of school for, for everybody. Nobody knows where they're going, and um, some students write out real specific directions for their parents, uh, referencing old teachers that aren't here sometimes, uh, and then the parents sometimes can't figure that out. So it's, it's nice, you know, connecting faces with names and letting everybody see what their teachers have to say. Back to myself. Well, as you guys could see, I was also there and like I said, not a big uh, secret. It's pre-filmed, so. No. Oh, you're so extra. <laughs> <laughs> no, you couldn't guess. Anyway, so uh, I think I did quite snazzingly well, and you did terribly. I had one interview, and the mic wasn't even on. All right, just stop, stop criticizing. Me. Yeah. Well, you're. Uh... Two hours later. All this. Talk so you should have known. Talk to the hand, my friend. With your messed up fingers? I'm yeah. okay, thank you. High five. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. Anyway, 
let's get on with the rest of the news. Now on to our homecoming parade and game. Students had the opportunity to represent their clubs at the annual homecoming parade. The event was followed by the homecoming football game against Garfield. At halftime, the homecoming winners were announced. Christian Godoy won homecoming king. Gabriela Insignaris won homecoming queen. Christopher Roberts won homecoming prince. And Kimber Kimberly Cartagena won homecoming princess. Let's watch the exciting night, including our brand new drone footage. So did you um, know that when they were all nominated and, you know, we had the uh, assembly, Christian Godoy uh, actually, uh, what was it, homecoming proposal? or? I think it was home, yeah. I yeah, think it was homecoming, homecoming proposed to her, uh, the queen, and, you know, it's so cute that the king and queen actually won uh, and they were boyfriend and girlfriend. And also, our drone oh, is our amazing. Drone. We'll be right back with more of our Crusader news. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mr. Lawling's Joke of the Day. I'd like to start with an important fact. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. But before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the tallest mountain in the world? I'll give you the answer at the next break. What is a pumpkin's least favorite inventor. I'll tell you that when we come back at the next break. Hey, where are you going? Anime club? Where are you, a nerd? Yeah. Oh, that's for nerds. Oh man, get in there, boys. Oh, one punch. Oh, get up, get up, you big nerd. Get up, nerd. So, going back to what we had before, what was the tallest mountain before Mount Everest was discovered? Mount Everest. <laughs> Pumpkin's least favorite inventor? George Washington Carver. <laughs> Welcome back to Crusader News.
That's preposterous, Harold interjected. Ingrid was a mistake. She didn't have enough meat on her bones. He licked his lips. Mm. No, the other children of the town, however, they were plump and ready to cook. Oh my god! It didn't hurt at first. When I dug the spoon under my eye. It could possibly call a masterpiece. To finish it off, it scrambled a message to the wall that I could not read in the darkness. Hi, we're here at the Telltale Arts. Uh, my name is Matthew, and I'm here with... Anne-Marie. Okay, so what was your overall opinion on... Um, <laughs> the Telltale Arts. Yes. Um, it was nice. It still maintained the thing that we wanted the most, and it was to focus on the poetry and the scary stories. It's, you know, it's coming up to Halloween. It was a lot of fun, actually. And uh, I, although there wasn't a lot of people, I thought it kind of went better than it would have. What was your overall opinion on the stories read? A lot of them were long, um, but overall they were nice. They were really good. Some were very scary. We even played an audio. <laughs> we even played an audio of um, from YouTube uh, from a man who does this professionally telling scary stories, and it was amazing. Very scary. Um, and I even said some things, and it was honestly it was, it was quite nice. All right, thank you. And now uh, for senior announcement, yearbook prices will increase to $100 in January, as currently they are $85. Don't wait, because it will get expensive. And there are also some spots open for anyone wanting to attend the Spain trip. Now, it's a great trip. I'm actually going. Um, it is pricey, but I mean, imagine you, uh, you could go to another country. And I mean, it's not like you have to pay all at once, you know? It's like at uh, different points. Um, I mean, how though, many times in your life do you say you can go on the Spain trip? Exactly, and, you know, you're still in high school. True. And, you know, you're not going with, like, parents or anything. You learn, and, and like, there's so many awesome opportunities. It's a great opportunity, I believe. Well. Yeah, exactly. And, um, though, I will say some destinations on the Spain trip will ha might have to change um, depending on the uh, political situation going on down there. So... We'll have to see. But, yet again, there is uh, a lot of spots open for the Spain trip. So if anyone wants to go and can afford it and, and has the opportunity, I suggest you should definitely try it. That's all for Crusader News. The staff and crew wishes everyone a fun and safe October slash fall slash Thanksgiving slash life. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, I'm feeling a little, a little tired today. I was up all night wondering where the sun went, and then it dawned on me. <laughs> what was Harry Potter's favorite subject in elementary school? Spelling. <laughs> I can't leave without a math Halloween joke. What do you get when you divide the circumference of a jack-o'-lantern by its diameter? Pumpkin pie. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Frostbite. I would like to end with uh, a couple of pieces of advice. One is, if at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. Another piece of advice, be careful out there. Today when I was walking in, I saw two peanuts walking and one was assaulted. Get up, you coward! What are you, coward? Huh? Get up, get up, you big nerd! <laughs>